Hey there guys, Fire Mage once again, continuing off my Legend of Dragoon challenge run. Um, right now I am pretty much almost about to fight Dragoon Lennis, which is the final boss of Disc 2. Um, pretty much after that there really is nothing else until uh, Grand Jewel, um, even though I will be doing Kamui as a uh, bonus video, just because of the fact that I don't really feel like waiting that long. Um, it's not going to be saved, of course, it's just going to be a quick little run through just to see that, you know, you can do it, you know. It's, it's actually, um, Solenus is actually a very difficult fight, um, especially with the way that things are with Dart. Um, usually for this fight you can just special, and then just take care of it with final bursts. This time, and, uh, or you could just heat blade it. I have access to neither. Um... The heat blade that you can get in the game, it's in Kashua Glacier, which means that I basically can only use it really against Windigo and Last Kraken. Although I'm very grateful that I can use it against Last Kraken. Um, so yeah, just uh, I did a quick stat check in as well as additions. Not much has really changed. And Lloyd's being a badass as usual. Now, this fight's painful because of two reasons. You have two targets. And they both have devastating attacks that they can pretty much use at any time that they so choose. Um, which is just why this fight really hurts. Go after Lennis first. The reason being, she's physically weaker. Um, she has less HP. And um, you need to stop the bleeding as soon as possible. Um, She has 3,000 HP, Regal has uh, 3,200, uh, so 169, that's well over 5% right there. And then an additional 281. So pretty much just between those two characters, boom, um, already about a good percentage of the way done through just Lennis. This is the attack from Regal that you do not want to see. Um, it's very high damaging. Uh, hits the entire party, so it can kill you in one shot. Um, the only reason why it's not as bad as it could be is because Maru is in the party. Um, that's the only real reason to bring her into this fight. Um, because she will constantly be in pain. But she makes a very good healer, so...
this is going to be low worthy damage, 94, who cares. Much slower than her original encounter, um, which is great. Ow. That, surprisingly, is not her best attack. It is the attack where she throws her disc into the air, and then it lands in the middle of the party, and then she just, like, sweet kicks everybody and fires a beam of ice at them. Um, that's her best attack. Uh, so, look out for that one. Uh, Lennis is already below half. Throwing a breeze out there mainly because of darts uh, 600 HP about, um, that's just too low. <laughs> High speed party is always a great thing. You get in a lot of multiple turns at times, and she's already below 25%. Uh, Which for her means less than 750, so it's pretty much a point of just keep on hammering at her. And with that, Lennis bows out of the fight. Um, the battle is mostly over um, once you actually do take out one of them. Um, however, Regal by himself is still extremely dangerous. He has higher defense than Lennis and more HP. Um, combined with the a fact that he usually uses his best attack more often on his own, um, he's actually been considerably tame this fight, as was Lennis.
Already below half. I was wondering when the R when the RNG gods were going to stop blessing me. <laughs> So yeah, very much thanks to equipment for actually sp uh, for actually saving Dart. Um, in pre in the earlier challenge run, that would have flat out killed him. Um, attacks were doing between 700 to 800 for either Lennis or Regal's best attacks. Um, so equipment is very much definitely a variance in this game, even if it's just what you happen to come across. And with that, Regal is now at below uh, a fourth, so pretty much below 800, so it's pretty much just at the point where I can just keep on hammering him and not need to worry that much about health. Um, especially with me doing, like, 140 with characters like Dart. Uh... That is the fight. Um, so yeah, it can be... It, it depends upon just how much they decide to use their best attacks. That's really what the fight comes down to, is luck, mostly. Um, it really is. Uh, that's what some of the fights in this challenge really do become, is luck. Um, especially things like Last Kraken, 
or um, Death Rose. Uh, Last Kraken depends upon just what spells it uses when Cleons are out. Uh, Death Rose depends upon how many times it uses its HP absorption attack. Um, and equipment does take out that luck variance, though, um, which is a very good thing. Lennis being one of my actual favorite Dragoons in this entire game, purely because of the fact that A, her armor is amazing, um, design aspects just looks great, combined with the fact that she, along with Dole, um, have unique weapons. Dole has his dual swords, she has her dual circle discs. Um, actually, the enemy Dragoons in this game, um, when it comes down to... Uh, yeah, when it comes down to every single enemy Dragoon except for Graham are actually my favorite Dragoons in the entire game. And that is the final fight of Disc 2. Um, Frozen Jet and Jeweled Crown. It's Jeweled Crown's really not that useful. Um, Maru and Shauna are the only two that can equip it. Um, of course, I do have a one earlier from just the Undersea Cavern. And for Maru, it would decrease her uh, physical attack and barely upgrade her magical defense. Um, I mean her physical defense, yeah. Um, so it's really not that good of an equip, really. So with that, Maru does get Hammer Spin. Shauna does level up. Maru's does level up. Hastral and Albert. Uh, full party level up. Um, and then Dart gets Uselessness. Um, so that is the uh, last fight of Disc 2. I will see you guys for my bonus video of Kamui. Until then, laters.